Can you stop your body from aging? Well, according to a pharmacist who has studied health for three decades, you can slow it down. Earlier, we spoke with Greg McPherson to learn how. Greg, welcome to DBL. So you truly believe that in the next couple of years, living to age 100 or 120 will be the norm? Really, in just a couple of years? Oops. Well, yeah, look, absolutely. Um, there are drugs and there are supplements that, um, when given to mice, can expand their lifespan by 30, 40, even 60%. So these are starting to become available to us. And what it's going to mean is that we have a much longer health span, which is the amount of time that we're healthy. Well, can you tell our audience, like, what are the biggest things that age us now? The primary reason that we age is actually from, uh, is our DNA. Our DNA gets damaged over time through the diet and the, and the things that we do during our lifestyle. And when that DNA gets broken, it actually starts to get a little confused and that actually drives the aging process within our cells. So there are, are now um, molecules and things that we can do to actually slow that process down, just like you put sunscreen on your face to protect it from like UV rays. Interesting. Now there are thousands of anti-aging products I know because I've tried them. <laughs> but what makes your pointers uh, different than what's already out there? What separates yours? Yeah, you're absolutely right. There's just so many things out there talking about anti-aging. Um, I think really what makes uh, my book different is actually the deep, deep science behind it. What I'm, I'm talking about and the theories inside the book are actually from um, leading researchers and scientists who are really starting to unpack aging. And we now have things that we can do that are accessible to all of us, which is what I put into the book. And also these molecules I was talking about, um, we can access things like hopamine, NMN, and fisetin, which actually slow the aging process down. Wow. Fascinating. Wow. You also recommend intermittent fasting, which our co-host Jeff, who's not here today, but it's something that he swears by. Mm. So why is it important to you to do this intermittent fasting? And how do you personally get through the, the hunger? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love food, right? So I've got to do something about about that, especially into heading into my fifties. So um, I do have I fast for two days a week and then just have one meal. And, and because when we're hungry, it allows our body or well, it triggers cascades essentially, which help create like almost do housekeeping through in, in our body. And so when we eat all the time, we don't get the opportunity to do that. Um, and it means our body doesn't break down the cells that aren't working so well. And over time, it actually compounds and it can actually shorten our life. Wow. That makes sense. Yeah, and Neanderthals back in the day, they had to get hungry, hungry enough, and that's sort of what intermittent fasting is going back to. I <sighs> don't. Hungry enough. <laughs> well, I don't do it because I'm too hungry, but I'll work on it. You've also said that exercise helps repair cell damage, but you actually have a warning about how you schedule it. Yeah, it's just, it's really important that you do exercise regularly so that your body gets used to it. If you go out and do a run once a month and just hammer yourself, it actually is quite damaging. It puts a lot of stress on your body. So you know, your body is an amazing thing, it adapts. And um, so if you do exercise regularly, that's how you're going to get the most benefit from it. Interesting. It all makes sense, yeah. right? Our bodies are our machines. And someone like Greg is helping you fine-tune them, oil them. I like it. Uh, to our viewers out there to learn more uh, ways to slow down the clock, get Greg's book, Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Aging to Live Your Healthiest Life. Greg, thank you so much for joining I need this us. Book. This is I incredible. Know. I can't wait to read your book. Thank you. Great to talk with you. Thanks, Bye. Greg. Take care.